neutral, nudey, mauvey situation. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I've got kind of an interesting collection of stuff sitting in front of me. Um, it's kind of like girly mixed with 90s grunge kind of a deal. Like even like my makeup is today, where it's kind of like girly on my eyes, but then I've got the 90s grunge sort of a lip going on. Um, and then even my shirt is kind of 90s grunge. So I guess I was just kind of like feeling that vibe this week. So that's what my favorites sort of fall under. So I hope that you guys had a really great week. So let's get to the favorites. On my nails this week, I have this one from Formula X. This is revved up, just a really pretty rose gold kind of a color. I really like it. It applied really nicely. Um, you know, metallics are a little bit unforgiving as far as like, you know, your application, like it can show streaks a little bit more easily, but I really didn't notice it as badly with this one. Um, and I do like with metallics that, especially like a rose gold like this, when it starts to kind of like chip or grow out, it's not quite as obvious. So I feel like I can wear it a little bit longer. So that's what I like about it too. So this one is like totally chipping, but I feel like it's not like super obvious. So I like this polish. I think it's really pretty. For eyes this week, this is probably not going to come as any shock to any of you guys, but the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette has pretty much been all I've been using this week, and I have a feeling this is gonna go into next week too, because I don't wanna put it down. I just think it's adorable. I already did a review video on this, so if you wanna see that, I'll link it down below for you. I just think this is awesome. I think it's adorable. It is just such a cute palette, but also it's really nice quality. It smells yummy. It's just great. I mean, there's not a lot I can say about it other than I love it. I was going for more of the pinky tones this week. Um, so I've got that one on my eyes, cotton candy. I've got Bordeaux on my eyes. I'm wearing that one a lot. I have, I found myself reaching for that one a lot. Sprinkles is beautiful. I always love Totally Fetch. So I don't know, those kind of like pinky tones. That's kind of what I was mostly reaching for this week. <sighs> this is so pretty. I just love it. Looks like an I Love Lucy palette too, which makes it even better. These are the colors that I have on my eyes today. Well, I don't think I have this one. Maybe on my inner corner? I think so. I think on my inner corner, but I for sure have the other ones. I really like that pink, especially cotton candy. It's just like super girly and happy and a little bit like, I don't know, if Barbie had an eyeshadow, like that was, that would be the color that she would probably wear. Super, super cute. What do you guys think about this? Have you gotten it? Are you loving it as much as I am? I love to hear your thoughts, so let me know down below. On my cheeks this week, I wore my Merle Norman blushes from the Winter Collection again. I just love these. I've already mentioned them on my channel, but I wore them again this week, especially this one. And also, these are limited edition, so if you're thinking about them, I would say go check them out, see what you think, because they're not gonna be around forever. So the main one that I was loving this week, these are technically called the Color Stripes. This one is in All Aglow, and this is like a really beautiful blush topper highlighter type of deal, but what I've been doing is applying it underneath my blushes. So this looks really beautiful with the other one from this collection, which is called, um, I think it's called Sweet Cheeks. So it's really beautiful with that, but I'm wearing it today with a different blush, and I wore it with most of my blushes this week. I think I only skipped maybe one day this week that I didn't wear this. So it's beautiful with pretty much most every blush. It's just like a really beautiful, I don't know, subtle, girly highlight. It just adds a little bit of a glow. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It blends into the skin so nicely and it just pairs with so many different things. I hope you can see that. So what I've been doing is just applying it like all right in here, like where I would put my blush, highlight, all that. So all in there. And then I'll just put my blush kind of more in the apples of my cheeks. And I just love the combination. These are so nice. I really wish that they would make these permanent because the formula on these is just so, so nice. And then I busted out an old favorite blush in my collection this week, Tarte's Exposed. This is one of those go-to, never fail ya, works with a bunch of different eye makeup, lip look sort of situations. It's just no brainer. 
and it's a gorgeous color. It's very kind of like bridal looking. I don't know. It's kind of like a neutral, nudie, mauve situation. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what I would say about it. It's a neutral, nudie, mauve situation, something like that. But it just. It just looks nice on the skin, you know, and it gives color to your face, but it doesn't um, compete with other things going on in your makeup look. It's just, I mean, you've heard this probably a million times because this one has been talked about a lot on YouTube, but I feel like these have kind of like gone to the back burner a little bit because there's been so many new things coming out, but these are awesome. So especially exposed, like I feel like it got so much attention at the beginning and then it's kind of like not gotten as much recently, but it's an awesome blush. So if you thought about it, if you thought, oh, it looks kind of boring, it's not boring. It's awesome. And then for lips this week, I wore a nude lip combination that I really enjoyed. This is the NYX Lip Liner in Natural, and this is the Milani Lipstick in Nude Cream. So Natural is just a really nice, I don't know, basic nude color. It's kind of more of like a brownie nude. And then Nude Cream from Milani is more of kind of a, it's a very peachy nude. I don't know. And together, I feel like this combination makes a very kind of sweet, girly nude lip. I think of like, you know, there's different kinds of nude lips. There's like pinky nudes, there's more peachy nudes, um, there's like the concealery nude. And I feel like a peachy or even a pink sort of a nude, it's just like gives that sweet, youthful look to your face. So this is one of those combinations. And I really like the NYX lip liners. I've talked about them a million times. They're nice, they're inexpensive, they have a lot of different colors. That's why I like them. And then um, the Milani lipsticks are really comfortable and creamy. This is one of the ones that kind of has that watermelony sort of scent, which, I mean, I don't think it's horrible, but I would prefer the vanilla. So just a side note, if you hate that scent, this one smells like that watermelony scent. But Really pretty color, and I think the combination just works really nicely. And then I had a 20% off coupon to Ulta, so I went in there the other day. I was really good, and I just picked out one thing from the Prestige side. So this is one of the um, Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks. It says, um, highly pigmented cream lipstick, but these are the Alter Ego, I don't know. This one is in Secret Agent, and it's a very 90s grunge sort of a lip look. It's just a very brown nude. I mean, really, it's more brown than nude. And it looks pretty brown on my lips, too. I actually wore it the other day with this shirt. And I like it. I think it's just that, that kind of 90s grungy sort of look. So you have to be going for that, you know, if you buy a lipstick like this. And when I was kind of looking through the different colors to pick out which one to get, this is the one that I thought, you know, I'm feeling a brown lip. I think I'm going to go with the brown. So I did, and I like it. I think these are comfortable on the lips. Um... How would I describe them or compare them to something? I don't know. Some people say they're drying. I really don't think so. I, they kind of remind me of the Maybelline Creamy Mattes a little bit. These are probably a little bit less comfortable than those. Um, or maybe even the Kat Von D Study Kiss lipsticks. I don't know, but they stay around on the lips a good amount of time. I think they're pretty comfortable. They have a bunch of different colors. They smell really nice. They smell like creme brulee, cupcakes or something. Something yummy. I just really enjoy this color a lot though. Just a really grungy brown. And then, oh my goodness, I love this lipstick that I'm wearing. This is one of the Ofra liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Manhattan. So this is part of their New York Skyline collection. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's just like a really beautiful, mauve burgundy shade, but honestly, it it looks like it has a little bit of like a gray tint to it, which gives that kind of like 90s sort of a vibe to it. Oh, I love it. So I feel like it is, because I have, you know, quite a few like sort of burgundy kind of shades, but this one I feel like is different because of that kind of gray tint to it. And I really enjoy the formula of these. I mean, they are a liquid lipstick, but they're a much more comfortable formula. They really are. Um, and I feel like, I just feel like they're easier to wear. Like, even though 
They do a little bit of that line, like this one I noticed a little bit of that line, but nothing like the other ones. They really don't do that as much. And I feel like I can kind of like rub my lips together and kind of distribute the product that's left and then it's not as obvious, you know what I mean? So liquid lipsticks in general, I feel like just kind of do some of those strange things, but I think the Ofra ones do it way less than the other ones, and I think they're way more comfortable. So I love them, I really love the formula of them, and I love this shade, and I really like the name too, since we went to New York City last summer, so it's kind of fun. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.